people to join over from Sophie's super show um, this afternoon. Welcome to our instalment from the Luxury Promise Vault. Hi, Rach. She's moderated today. Let me just get rid of all my comment things. Okay, great. I've got a new ring light and I'm stressing about it. It's slightly getting on my nerves. Hang on, let's just adjust the one. <laughs> right. Hi, Alexandra. Yes, it's been such a long time. Um, we have been very busy here at the vault. Obviously, we were tailing end on Christmas and the start of the new year. We have had a little bit of a re as well as in head office, also in the vault. Um, today, we have some really quite extraordinary, beautiful pieces to show you. Uh, we've obviously been away for some time from my Thursday afternoon slot, um, but we are back. We are back with a vengeance. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm sure we haven't got any newbies. I'm sure you're all dedicated live shoppers joining us uh, back this afternoon. But for anybody new, um, all of the pieces that you will see here today are immediately available to purchase on the show. Um, we will be sharing all relevant information. Please do ask questions um, if you have any. Rachel will very kindly share all of the ways that you can shop with us and pay uh, for your purchases. Um, everything today actually Oh no, we've got some pre-loved pieces. So I've made a selection today based on some excellent investment pieces. A few pieces I know will be appreciating quite considerably in value because Hermes have announced they are discontinuing the style. And also some really, really well-priced market value um, brand new pieces. We also have an HSS and a super, super rare vintage bag. Um, okay, where shall we start? I think let's start with an easy in. This is something that we have had so many requests for recently. Uh, the small bags are still hanging around, although my heart is with the big bag. Functionality drives me towards this little beauty. First up today, this is my pick of the week. <gasps> Look at this beauty. This is an Hermes phone case. This is one of the first entries into sort of small accessories that they are bringing back at the moment. Incredibly sought after. Oh, hang on. Let me just, oh, sorry, we're cutting out a little bit. I think the 5G is not ideal today. Right, okay. Glove back on. This is a brand new iPhone, Hermes iPhone case in blue celeste. One of my personal favourite shades. It is the most incredibly vibrant summer blue. It has beautiful detailing here in Nata and Chai. Really cute little lipstick holder on the side. It also has a little compartment for cards and a little compartment for your headphones. So AirPods in there, very Apple savvy Hermes these days. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this to wear. Very cute little iPhone holder. So it actually fits my iPhone Plus. No, is it all I'm here today? Yes, absolutely it is. As you can see behind me, all of the pieces, we're going to be going through most of the pieces um, that you can see behind me in shot, but the vault is generally dedicated to all Hermes pieces. Um, and we will be featuring some lower value pieces like the iPhone holder that we've got here, all the way up to some super collector special edition um, special order rather pieces this afternoon. Okay, back to this, absolute dream. You can actually um, take the, you can unattach this a little bit as your, you can wear it like a little crossbody bag or a shoulder bag, which is really cute to have all of your essentials right next to you. I love the color. The color is incredibly difficult to get in the bag arena. 
Um, it'll fit anything up to a Pro Max. Um, really, really gorgeous. It has got gold hardware. Um, as you can see, um, the hardware is intact. You can shorten the strap slightly. It does have an adjustable little ring there so you can adjust the shoulder strap slightly to make it shorter. Um, I think you could actually wear this around. If you wanted to double loop it, you could always wear it wasted as well, which would be quite cute. Um, so price wise, this one comes in at 2,950 pounds and that is 3,556 US dollars. Um, don't forget that all customs and duties charges are covered for items purchased on the show. Um, this one is in Epsom leather, which is uh, by far the sort of sturdiest of the Hermes leathers. It has a synthetic grain, so it's quite a uniform grain, but it holds its shape really, really beautifully. Um, so it will keep its rigidity. It's got sort of cellular style stitching um, on the base there to really keep its shape. You can obviously slot your lipsticks in there. If you wanted to go full on brand Hermes makeup as well, um very very cute okay this has just come in so i thought i would feature it because we don't often see some of the smaller leather goods but they are becoming very very difficult to get your hands on right alluded earlier as to a discontinued model uh, you might have noticed on some of our other shows that we have been really talking about the Cellier Birkin because Hermes earlier this year announced that they are discontinuing this model. Hi Brad, how are you doing? Thank you for tuning in. Um, so the Cellier Birkin is rumoured to take one and a half times uh, longer than the Retourne Birkin, simply because of the difficulty that goes in to the difficulty level that goes into the construction of the external stitching. So it's taking 50% longer to produce. Obviously they can produce less of them and they have now removed this from the single tone general production. So we've been told that it is still going to be available in um, the HSS a la carte menu for the Cellular Style Birkin, but they're discontinuing it across other single tone models. I very much suspect that they'll still be producing limited edition pieces much like the um, the Sunrise and Sunset Rainbow Birkins, which obviously were the first pieces we started to see really with the, um, the Celia style stitching that was very much in the 35 centimetres. But this is a 30 centimetre Celia Birkin. It just holds its shape so beautifully. It's incredibly sort of, I always think it's very architectural. It's very structured and slick. This is a fantastically priced B30, but even more so, even more important is that it's going to be discontinued. I would predict that pricing is going to start to rise when fewer of them are hitting the market. So as they're juiced, Oh, hang on, we're just losing connection. Oh. I'm so confused as to... Right, oh, sorry, we're back again. Sorry, I think we lost a connection for a little moment there. Um, right, sorry, back to the B30 Birkin in Cellier. Gold. We have beautifully structured Epsom leather with palladium hardware. Now this, because they are still coming out of stores, we haven't seen the ripple effect on the pricing yet. However, I would predict that as soon as they stop coming out of stores, we start to see pricing increase. And this comparatively is very, very well priced. Um, Rach, it's a touch blurry, oh no. It says I've got good connection. Can you hear me all right? I don't know, do I need to come out and come in again? 
Rachel, you tell me what we need to do. It's very strange. It says it's, it says it's all good this side, so I don't know. Right. Do we have Rachel pricing details for our beautiful B30? Sorry about that, everyone. Okay, posted all of these pricing details for this. So this one in 30 centimeter cellier, gold with Epsom leather palladium hardware is available for 22,650 pounds. And that is 28,500. So in terms of market pricing for cellier bags, brand new in box, all of the original foot stud plastics are intact there and on the beautiful hardware too comes full set complete with original receipt this is a u stamp bag 2022 um end of 2022 so very very much new fresh from store um immaculate but in terms of a fantastic investment right now I would predict that pricing for these is going to start to climb once we see fewer released on to the market. Super pick for today in terms of an investment piece. Right, lovely. Next, where should we go next? I've got a huge list of bags. I think maybe we go for our. Loads of fans of the new neutrals. So many fans of the new neutrals. Today we have the slightly maybe younger, more current, which is chai. Chai ostrich. Beautiful neutral tone. Has all, all of the incredible kind of unique of an ostrich bag whereby obviously because it is a natural skin every single one is very different so they are unique because of the scattering of pores that you see on the leather they just give like an, a, a really beautiful additional element of uniqueness to your Birkin so this is a 25 centimeter chai ostrich in with palladium hardware there really really beautiful combination this has been one of our most requested leather colors it's really super beautiful so this is the retourne style uh, they have actually started producing the ostrich in the cellier with um the external stitching but this is the retourne which obviously gives it that slightly softer more supple look so i'll open him up for you so of course the birkin um unlike the kelly doesn't come with a cross body strap it is purely for carrying rather than wearing but even with a 25 centimeter they obviously have great depth so you can get a huge amount in them the 25 centimeter becomes a little bit more boxy, a little bit roomier once you open it up. And then you have your gorgeous little pochette. So this one is, again, brand new in box, um, immaculate condition. It comes full set with all original packaging and paperwork. There's your gorgeous little ostrich plaid lock. Obviously, ostrich, very similar to crop. The crochet comes coated in the leather skin, which is really beautiful. It means you don't get the danger of transferring with the padlock, um, which I really like because I actually have become, <laughs> I've, I, despite all the lecturing that I give other people about looking after their bags, I've unfortunately developed a lovely little smile line where I attached my padlock to the turnkey and I've already marked 
my bag but that's the danger with lighter colored bags you must must be mindful of attaching any of the accessories um, just for main reasons of obviously metal transfer okay really gorgeous color kind of works with what i'm wearing which is nice <laughs> unplanned the 25 centimeters so it sits a little bit it's too small for me personally to be able to fit on my wrist if you're a little bit more slight you can obviously wear it on your arm but generally the 25 is for carrying um in terms of size comparison just to compare this is your 25 and this is your 30. So the 30 for me personally is much easier to carry um, because it just has that slightly higher loop on the handle to be able to slot it over your arm. Just love that gold. And obviously tonally you can see as well. So this is obviously our very super classic gold always in production with Hermes. It's really one of their core colors, their core neutral. And then you have chai, which is slightly softer, will sit really beautifully, I think actually with summer colors. Um, we normally merchandise it in the space with some of the bright colors because it actually sits really beautifully um, with some of the brighter tones. It looks beautiful against white. This would like white denim in the summer absolute dream so once again brand new complete with all plastics on the foot studs um, includes original receipt all packaging paperwork and accessories and this one again fantastic price wise to find ostrich b30 b30, uh, b30 or b25 under 30,000 is actually incredibly good value so this one is priced at £28,500 and that is US dollars And once again, all duties and customs charges will be covered by Luxury Promise. Um, all duties and customs charges covered by Luxury Promise for items purchased during the show. Okay, love that one. Any questions about any of the pieces we have featured, obviously you can click on the icons at the top of the screen or the basket below um, for, to go back and see any of the pieces that we have featured so far. Okay, um, next, my personal favorite, this is a big shout actually, because we see a lot of special orders. My personal favorite HSS Mini Kelly combination that we have ever had, ever, literally ever. And it might look not that unusual. However, this is a mini HSS special order. So I'll show you the HSS horseshoe stamp that we see on the inside. Let me just open it up and show you the stamp. Absolutely love this combination. In trench, <clears throat> cray. Epsom leather, of course, but with permabrass hardware. So certain colors sometimes can look quite garish with gold, and I think trench is actually one of them. This has been coupled with permabrass, which is a really nice sort of in-between. Um, it's not quite gold, and it's not quite palladium. It definitely got the muted tones of palladium, but isn't quite as brassy as the Hermes gold. So permabrass hardware, um, there you can see just inside the top flap is the beautiful horseshoe stamp. So the HSS or horseshoe stamp is essentially denotes to the special order nature of this bag. It is very likely a unique combination that was placed as part um, of a special order from a VIP client by, um, at Hermes. And so they are invited to uh, place an order via the a la carte process, which means they have selected every element of the bag to be produced to their specification. So this, for example, has a Nata crossbody strap, which matches the side paddling and the top handle of the bag. Um, and the context there. You've got the lovely little feature on the back there. C 
super cute. Just love this combination. And then you'll, on the handle and on the pontets on the side, you have the combina uh, the contrasting, sorry, stitching, which will be in the trench color. It's a really, really beautiful, subtle combination. Some clients love to go really bold with their HSS. So we've got, we've just received, This absolute beauty has just come in. So this is an example of how to go really high contrast with your HSS, so graphite side panels, handle and pontet, and then cray as the main body. But this is such an unusual color combination simply because trench isn't produced every season. It is a really color to get hold of in single tone. And I love that it was incorporated with just a really super subtle combination with the cray here. And then again with the really subtle hardware. I just think it's the perfect example of a really well put together HSS bag. And I've never seen these two colors together with perma brass hardware. Um, I've seen it in the reverse actually with trench on the handles and the pontets and the side panels and then cray in the body. But I think this is just so unusual simply because they do not produce trench in the Mini Kelly. So this is like your perfect, really subtle, neutral color. Will literally go with anything. I love it, love it, really elegant. I just think it's so subtle my personal favorite HSS we've had in a long time. And just in the Mini Kelly, everyone that comes into the showroom gravitates towards this bag. I think just because it's super unusual. Okay, so pricing wise for our special order, Mini Kelly Cellier. It is priced at £29,500 and that is US dollars Let's have a look. Oh, Brad, the yellow behind you would look stunning mixed with black. Oh my gosh, this little moment. Isn't it delicious? I mean, I'm a massive fan of yellow generally anyway. Got totally distracted. How more contrasting <laughs> the vibes between these two. This is like super subtle, really, really low key. And then you've got this absolute vibe, which is Jean Citron, mouthful for some. Um, um, it is so vibrant, Hannah. Ooh, bumblebee bag. Yeah, it's got that whole, and then we've got this, which everyone so far, <laughs> we've been comparing it to a minion. <laughs> which I absolutely love. It's, it's genuinely just the most cheerful colour combination. Kind of saying earlier about chai being one of those colours that sits really amazingly with bright, bright colours. Um, and in some of Hermes' HSSs recently, they've really gone for some wild colour combinations. Um, they are not low-key bags. They are very, very high, high-impact colours, which we love. Okay, should we do another high-impact colour combination? For our pre-loved fans, this beauty, I can't actually believe it's still available. Firstly, it's an excellent price. And secondly, it's a B35. And everybody has been asking for the bigger bags recently. Um, what an awesome color combination. It's purely my favorite leather, which is chevra, which is goat skin. So it's a B35 special order in orange. So amazing Hermes orange, which has only just been reintroduced back into the color charts, um, and fuchsia pink. Palladium hardware, the hardware is immaculate. It has no, um, it has no plastic, um, protective plastics, but it's immaculate. The feet studs are in, I would say, fair condition. There are just a few, minor hairline scratches where the plastic's been removed. But otherwise, this bag is pristine. Genuinely excellent pre-loved condition. So 
With light colours, generally you start to see if it's been used, you start to see immediately just a few minor marks to the corners. This has not a single scratch on it. I think there is one, let's have a look. One really tiny minor scuff there and some temporary plastics have been popped on just to continue to protect the hardware there. But otherwise, so the piping is immaculate, the side panels are immaculate, the handles, I mean, look at that for contrast. This is very, what's the character in Scooby-Doo that wears pink and orange? It's got like, is it Wilma? Fives. Love that. which is my happy, happy place. Felt loud. It's very beautiful. And let's face it, if you're going high impact, these colors are just phenomenal. So the lining is fuchsia also. Incredible fuchsia interior. Just to show you the detail on, so the foiling, immaculate, the hardware, immaculate, the price, immaculate. <laughs> Alexandrine, the price is unreal. Truly incredible. I think this is an absolute steal, personally. Um, obviously, the new B35s are coming in around the £20,000 mark. This is as new as pre-large gets. It is a K-stamp square. So if, let me try and work backwards, what does that mean? So I'd say about 2012, 2011, 2012, I'd say. Um, it's immaculate. I'm actually a little bit devastated that somebody went and had this made as a special order and then didn't use it. It makes me a bit sad for the bag. It needs to go to a loving home who's actually going to use it. Um, I'm thinking summer because this pink is all, all for the summer. Just again, the contrast of that. Just got some padding in to see chevrolet leather being really soft, really supple. Um, when they're stored, we like to try and maintain the shape as much as possible. Oh, just love it. So beautiful. Oh, okay, and then here's our little clochette, which again, immaculate in orange chevre. Look how cute the little detail here is. Orange chevre on the outside, and then inside of the clochette is fuchsia too. Um, I just think this is so beautiful. Very, very lovely. Okay, so it's pre-loved. It's around 10, 15 years old, I'd say. No receipt, but it will come with our third party authentication certificate, um, which acts as being expertly um, authenticated in-house. I just think it's unreal. Very, very beautiful. And the price is phenomenal. I urge you, if you are looking for something that's quite stand out, I mean, this is, this is the one. We've had a lot of B35s in very beautiful, neutral, tan, chai, black, we've got gray. But if you're really looking for impact, this is unreal. And as I said, chevrolet leather is un, just, it's unmatched in terms of, um, it's got a very uh, fine grain. It's quite an oily leather. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It wears very, very well. It's very easy to kind of buff up again, make look new. I just think for these colors, oh, the fact that the hardware is immaculate. I cannot see a single even hairline scratch. I see bags come from store <laughs> with less beautiful hardware, I'm not gonna lie. 
Gorgeous, okay. It's a steal. I'm gonna pop it back up here so you can continue to look at it throughout the rest of the show. Always get lots of joy from seeing some of these bags in the eye line. There she is. Okay, right. So to recap, the pre-loved Birkin 35, Retourne in orange and fuchsia, HSS, special uh, order is um, £14,950 and that is US$18,022. All duties and customs charges covered uh, by Luxury Promise for items purchased during the show. It's a bargain. Um, okay, we're still building up to one of our real holy grail bags. Um, I'm going to pick my personal favourite. Oh, which way is it? I've mentioned I've got it right in the middle. There you go. Okay. I'm sort of hoping this doesn't sell very soon because it's on my wish list. <laughs> Couple of shows ago, before Christmas, I was asked what I was after, what my next purchase will be. This is it. <laughs> and it's literally come in at the wrong time. So I'm sort of hoping it doesn't sell, but also hoping it does go to a loving home. Right. 32 centimetre, tick. Vert suppress, tick. Beautiful Togo leather and gold hardware, tick. Pre-loved, incredible price. <laughs> incredible pricing. Okay, it's beautiful, it is immaculate, it still has plastics on the hardware. Um, it has very minor signs of use on the corners. Hannah, love green. Here for green, in certain lights it does look quite, it still looks black, so you could literally wear it with everything. I'm still waiting for, um, still waiting for olive to come back into production. However, this is the next best thing. This is the next best green, in my opinion. Vert Suppress. So really dark, inky green, perfect with gold hardware, really complements the colour beautifully. Um, it is in such good condition for a pre-loved bag. Now there are just some minor signs on the rounding of the leather. Um, so just above the piping there, you've got a really minor scratch. It is very minor though, as I say. The feet, fantastic. There's one foot stud that doesn't have plastics, but the scratches on it are really minimal, really, really minimal. The others all have varying degrees of coverage from their plastics. Back of the bag, there is not a single mark on it. It is beautiful. Such a lovely, lovely green colour. And as I say, the only part of the um, front which does not have plastics is the turnkey, which is not unusual. Um, it's normally, because obviously it's been opened a few times, where every time it's been checked over, um, that tends to come loose. Okay. Um, so even coming from store without plastics on the turnkey. Um, the front plate there, it, front plaque is still intact with its plastics. Again, so immaculate. Inside plate still all plastics present and on that front plaque as well with the turnkey, all plastics present. Just unreal. Uh, it comes complete with all original accessories. Uh, Hermes box, dust bag. Um, so here is his strap. I'm going to wear it just to prolong the torture. <laughs> It's so beautiful. So the, I'm getting distracted. Right, the um, hardware on the strap. Not as very. So on strap hook, perfect. Right, okay, this is, oh, this is just the one. <laughs> I love this bag so much. Okay, the interior is, again, immaculate. I'm just going to remove the padding whilst I get really comfortable <laughs> with this pre-loved bag. Oh no, terrible. 
the interior, oh, sorry, I realise you can't see that. <laughs> um, the interior is immaculate. Um, you've got sort of slight softening where it's been stored on the front flap. I feel like I'm, I don't really want to go too hard into selling this because I'm so hoping it doesn't sell. Um, it's gorgeous. Green, Hannah. I know you're on the green team too. I mean, <laughs> I need to step a bit further away. I've not. Oh, 35 centimeters. 32 centimeters, sorry. 32 centimeter. That's a press. Okay. I'm sure you've all noticed the price now. It is an excellent price. It is £11,950 and that is £14,406 US dollars. Shipping duties, uh, duties and import charges covered by Luxury Promise, all included, all in for £11,950. I mean, it's the dream. This slightly kind of shorter strap sits really nicely obviously standard strap size but with bags a little bit bigger it sits that little bit higher it's great over the shoulder great over the shoulder i love this size but also looks very cool carried super it's just lush we have this in the k25 in new i think it was twenty four thousand. So just to give you a little bit of a idea on how that matches up, the smaller sizes obviously in new condition will carry a huge premium. That's your um, padlock and clochette there, which I will put very lovingly back inside the bag. Okay, right. I love it. <laughs> I sold it possibly to myself in the last half an hour. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I can sit and look at it in the showroom. Torture, I tell you. It's both the best and worst parts of our job. <laughs> it's being around all this lovely product all of the time. This is sunny. Okay, right. Any questions, please feel free. If you want to recap and go back on across any of the bags that we've featured, obviously we featured a few pre-loved pieces. Um, so if you want to go over any of the um, condition marks, please let me know and I will happily, um, happily recap on any of those. Um, right, where are we now? I think we'll go for the super piece. How long have we got left? Okay, we've got 20 minutes. Right. Guys, this one is unreal. I'm just gonna leave it here for a moment. This is a micro Birkin. <laughs> Unbelievably rare. Genuinely, uh, incredibly unusual. I've been doing this a long time and I've maybe only seen three or four of these in the flesh. This is immediately available here in London. This is a real true collector's piece. Um, it was part of a collection produced, I believe this one is from, is O stamp, um, O square, so would be 2011, I would have thought. Um, it is immaculate. It is, it still has its teeny tiny <laughs> hardware plastics. The uh, micro Birkin does not have any feet studs because it's so little. It comes complete with its original shoulder strap. There are no plastics on the uh, shoulder strap, but it can be worn across the body. There are some really super tiny instead of, so it's unlike big Birkins, you can wear this with a shoulder strap. So it has really super tiny attachments on the inside so one on the inside there and then one i don't know if you can see just on the outside underneath the handle so it has like a false very much like the three in one birkin that they released last year or was it the april 2021 um it's got the fake pontette 
So or the fake front flap, I should say. So the flap doesn't actually go over the front of the bag. It is a false flap. But you still have all of the lovely details on the front plate there. Um, the foiling's actually on the lining of the bag. So Epsom outer, bubblegum pink. I mean, there is not a more premium pink, really. Perhaps, I think, Sakura and Bubblegum definitely take the medal there. So there's your Hermes foiling. Um, it is just immaculate. That's our little skew code visible on the bottom. Very, very, very rare. Um, definitely a novelty. It certainly can't fit more than a credit card in. <laughs> so in terms of practicality, maybe not the one, but it is certainly a collectible. And that is obviously reflecting the price. Hi Danica, how are you? How cute, how cute is this? This is very like Stormy Webster vibes. <laughs> Can you imagine her rocking up to her first day of school with a micro Birkin? Yes, we all can. Very, very cute. Um, so bubblegum pink, always uh, identifiable with its quite dark stitching uh, versus pink. It's not, it always comes with a slight contrast, like a more neutral stitching color versus most other pinks. So for example, our Mo pale here comes with contrast stitching, so it's very, very subtle. Uh, Bubblegum will always come with this very contrasting stitching, makes it very, very um, identifiable. Okay, great. Jennifer, we can absolutely go back to the cellier. Um, let's, oops, let's do pricing very quickly for the micro birkin prepare yourselves because <clears throat> this is very rare and that is <laughs> reflected in the pricing and is on consignment with us from somebody who is very keen to sell it however i think it will be going to a grand auction if it is not sold with us beforehand be warned it is here for a very limited time so the micro Birkin, which measures around 15 centimetres, so just to, com just to compare again, this is our micro Birkin and this is our mini Kelly. So if we were all shocked by the size of the mini Kelly, wait, <laughs> the micro Birkin. So 15 centimetres, it could literally fit inside a mini Kelly, wild. So no chance for a phone unless you're really super retro and have like a 90s Motorola flip phone, that probably might go in there, but nothing else. Um, so, price at £21,500, and that is £25,919. But I cannot express to you how rare this is and how much of an incredible collector's item it is. The colour combination with the fact that it's the micro is unreal. Bubblegum pink, beyond me. Very, very beautiful. So, this comes complete with box, dust bag, strap, care card, ribbon, full set. No, no original receipt, but it will come with a third party um, authentication certificate as all of our Hermes pieces do. Okay, right, now we've got over that little baby, we will go back to, we will go back to, we wanted to go back to the set, didn't we? Yes, okay, fantastic. Danica, someone should definitely get it from LP, what, only one would split it for 12 months. Danica, love how you think. Split it, exactly. You can just pay it off over the next year and then you've got an amazing collector's piece. Beyond me. Okay, right. And yes, yeah, hammer price. You're absolutely right. If you buy an auction, you have huge premiums. Um, the hammer price is never the price you pay. There is always the um, auction fee on top which often comes as a surprise to some people and always baffles me when um, when you see reports in the papers about 
bags have gone for astronomical amounts of money, like the Himalaya always gets a lot of airtime, um, or the diamond bags, for example. And actually, the reported price is still not what the client has paid. That's the hammer price. Very rarely do they actually um, report on the full price that the client has paid. Right, okay, we wanted to go back to, let me just scroll, sorry, gloves are not the one with phones. Okay, Jennifer wanted to have a look again at the gold cellier. Right, so you can obviously always click through to the shopping bag or any of the icons to see product details, but this is the gold cellier. This is new, brand new, in box, used down for 22. Um, it is immaculate and it is my pick really in terms of a true investment piece that will very quickly rise in values. It will appreciate simply because they are discontinuing the model. They will only really be making the Celia style Birkin, no, scratch that. They will really only be making the Retourne style Birkin um, in the single tone classic colors from next year. I think they are stopping it and therefore there's only a few coming out of the store still, which were produced historically. Um, but it is a fantastic um, price for a B30 gold anyway. And obviously you've got the element of the Celia design, which um, I think it makes even the bigger bags look much more structured. Obviously the beautiful classic Celia big Birkins have a certain produced in like the Chevrolet or the Togo or the Clemence. They, they really soften over time and you can wear them soft against you. The Cellier Birkin obviously keeps its shape really beautifully um, and therefore in terms of maintaining its structure it will do that very very well. Epsom leather again so really beautiful um, it's sort of a synthetic grain, so it's a machine-made grain rather than the natural like Togo and Clemence leathers. Um, so it's a very tight, short, smooth finish. Again, great for holding its shape in the Birkin with the all feet plastics and things. Love the contrasting stitching on the gold. I just think there's always such a nice element. Really gorgeous. Okay, Jennifer, did you have any questions? Was there anything specific that you wanted to cover on the um, Cellier Birkin? Any questions? Share them. Um, and we will, which one did we have left to? Ooh, the other really well-priced option I have today is the Rouge Cellier. So this is another this is another bag that I think is fantastically priced. Firstly, because it's colour. So, and these haven't really produced a lot of browns recently, like dark, rich, chocolatey browns. The Rouge Cellier is probably the most similar if that is a colour you are desperately seeking to add to your collection. The Rouge Cellier is probably the closest we'll get in a new uh, sort of U stamp, B stamp. Beautifully paired with gold hardware. Lovely Togo leather. Um, it is in the 25 centimeter, so it's really cute, really dinky. Again, sort of matches what I'm wearing today. Not intentional, <laughs> but I love this color. The richness of the sort of the red undertone, the deep brown tones you have when paired with gold hardware really quite astonishing. I love it. A lot of people have gravitated towards this colour and I don't think they're expecting to really love this colour. We have recently sold a B30 in this shade and a couple of Kellys as well and this one has just come in and I thought I would share because it is brand new in box and we always get requests for brown a lot of brown, obviously heritage colours in the natural um, leathers, so brown and tan, always historically did very well for Hermes and we get a lot of requests for the vintage style, like beautiful brown box or brown chocolate togo. This is the closest that you will find at present 
in the current colour selection. We don't see a lot of cacao or chocolate brown. Or a bean with a beautiful brown tone, not in production at the moment. So Rouge Cellier. It's an epic, epic combination. So brand new in box, complete with all original packaging and paperwork. I believe it's also U stamp. And the pricing, just wait a moment on this. A B25 for under £18,000 is an incredible value. Genuinely incredible value. Um, it is priced at 17,950 and that is 21,639 US dollars. All customs charges and duty payments included in your purchase price covered by Luxury Promise. So as an investment, a B25 under 18,000 pounds genuinely is a fantastic price fantastic price okay i just love it i think it's a really beautiful classic combination 25 if this is your jam all of the further details obviously visible on the item icon there okay I think there is time for one more. Shall we do a little baby picketing to finish on? Personal favourite neutral tone is Vuitton. Lovely, lovely neutral. I've been seeing lots of people wearing picketins recently and wearing them beautifully with a crossbody strap. How nice would this look? Like worn, they're really super soft and supple. This is the 18 centimetre Pick it in. I'm going to move some of the stuffing very quickly so you see it. Super. Still becoming really difficult to access in store, the pick it in. So very sought after. But this is a great look. Spring is coming. I promise you. <laughs> Anyone else in the UK, spring is coming. And this is a perfect transitional, seasonal bag this beauty is beaton such a beautiful color isn't it rach i love it really cute with gold hardware you can attach obviously the picketin named the picketin lock so you have your beautiful little padlock which you attach to the top i don't know anybody that actually fastens there so the idea was that you attach the top and I don't think it adds any level of security since you can still reach into the bag very easily. But you attach your lock, your padlock to the front. But it looks really cute when you just attach it and, um, and it dangles off. I've seen some really cute styling of, of um, Piggytons recently with like twillies, um, lovely little bag charms, and then a Kelly pocket strap or something similar, or one of the amazing like um, there's guitar straps. Um, if you're going to wear it it's a really lovely tone it's got like gray undertones the beat on um it's not so creamy as nata or cray um it's leather which has the most amazing natural graining it's quite voluminous the grain it's very like three-dimensional the natural grain um it is a really super lovely combination with that gold hardware so the picketin is unlined you just got the natural interior of the leather and then else have we got as our feature so that's obviously the little attachment piece but as I say I don't know anybody that really because they are designed for you to be able to reach in and grab everything easily so the p18 18 centimeter picketin in beaton is priced at four thousand 
thousand nine hundred and sixty-seven US dollars. Great color, super transitional. Great for spring. You could really like zhuzh it up with some beautiful twillies on the handles, or a nice bright cross body strap would be lovely with it too. Really versatile, the victims. I think they are making quite an effective comeback. We're getting loads of requests for them. And every time we get a gold one in, it flies out the door immediately. Gold Evelyns and gold Pickertons. We cannot get enough of them. They honestly, genuinely do sell so quickly. Um, right, was there anything else that we were going to cover today? Oh, last one. Classic Birkin Orange. Should we, I think we've got some time for that. Very, very quickly, we'll go through this little beauty. Really quite lovely orange. Hermes orange, back in that colour chart this season. Great, it's paired with palladium hardware, which is my personal favourite combination, because I think the gold sometimes looks a bit clashy with orange. This one is in Togo leather in 25 centimetre. I mean, there is no other colour that screams Hermes more than orange, is there? Is there? I think not. Again, I mean, I've got some orange vibes going on today. I'm here for it. I'm here for all the orange. Just great. Really beautiful. But it is a U stamp 2022. Brand new, full set. All original plastics visible on the hardware. And the feet studs. Box accessories, paperwork. So lovely. And I'm really here for orange. Genuinely. The brights, this little happy corner over here. It's so cheerful on such an abysmal day here in London. To share the pricing information for our beautiful B25 in orange. So again, another absolute steal, B25 under 20 thousand pounds it is available in the retourne style so that lovely soft supple togo leather for nineteen thousand five hundred pounds and that is twenty three thousand five hundred and eight us dollars so incredibly cheerful that is your vitamin c dose right there okay um I think that is it today from the vault thank you so much for joining us um really appreciate your time always if you have any questions please do get in touch rachel you superstar thank you for moderating today um we will see you in the vault. Um, and you can rewatch